welcome and or welcome back to my youtube channel guys happy new year happy new year everyone i hope you guys enjoyed your new year celebration and welcome to another cleaning video so before i get into this video let me thank you guys for clicking on this video first of all second of all I want to wish everyone a prosperous, blessed, safe, and everything nice new year. Goodbye 2020. Goodbye pandemic. And let's get back to normal life. Somewhat. So with this video, I will be deep cleaning our house. I mean every part of the house. I didn't show my bedroom, but I did do it a different day. But, yes. So, with this video here, I needed to make sure I got the house in order. Started off the year correctly. I wanted to make sure everything was clean. I wanted to make sure that I'm setting the tone for 2021. Like, my house needs to stay clean. It needs to be cleaned. So, I want you guys to turn this on, get up, let's get cleaning together. Like, don't leave me hanging, don't have me out here cleaning by myself. We're going to do this together. And I'm getting better, y'all. See, I'm showing y'all the products, y'all ain't got to ask me. I make sure to show y'all. And when I say I was cleaning everything, I really meant that. Like, I'm going through the cupboards. I'm going to take everything down, wipe everything down, make sure it's all clean. Tell me how to be closer to ya. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Because I just want to make you feel what we do about you. So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe. You're the only reason Baby, you're the answer to my prayers Feeling like the world is in our hands Now I know that this is meant to be You're the only reason Yes, you're the only reason Guys, it's been months since I've actually got in here and cleaned it out, but something spilled in here. I'm not sure what it was, so that's how you see it has like the that color. It isn't all dirt. Something really did spill. I think it was the maple syrup. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah. So I am getting into it. I have um one of Carter's old electric toothbrush because it was like really sticky. So I want to make sure to get it down. So I just sprayed it with some awesome. And then I went in with the toothbrush to get all that gunk and build up out. And as you can see, it's gone now.
It's not really dirty because every week before I do go to the grocery store, I go through and I kind of like take out or wipe it down. It was mostly like to get the doors and the glass on the doors clean because I'm going to be honest, I don't do that too often. So fingerprints and stuff do be on there. But in here, I wanted to kind of try to organize as best as possible where I'm able to see what's in there. Because I find when I am not able to see what's in my cupboards, I tend to double buy or I miss stuff and it expires and then I have to toss it. So I'm trying to organize it like with the juice on one side, the certain place that we don't use every day on one side, you know, just to give it a little more unison and make it as easy as possible for me to see what's in there because I'm telling you, I tend to double buy a lot, a lot. When you have like a smaller space and you're trying to cram so much into that little space, it tends to not be good for you because then you you end up thinking oh I don't have this but I do like Okay, so up here, I'm trying to put like bread and stuff like that up on the top because I'm still in search of a bread pan that I like that, I don't know, I haven't found like a really large one that I could put a lot of stuff in. So that's why I haven't bought one yet for on top of my fridge. But I did take away the drying rack that I had here. And I might get a folding one. I think a folding one would probably work best than just having the dry mat. So I'm just wiping off the counter, cleaning off the counter before I start getting the dishes together to clear out the sink and get everything washed up and then moving on. I am 99.9% .9 this is the most satisfying air item that I clean or area I just love 
when I get all in it and clean my stove. Like, to me, a clean stove is everything. I cannot cook on a dirty stove. I don't like to see a dirty stove. So, I like to just get into it. And please remember, this stove was not new when I moved here. I personally just want to give it back in the best condition that I received it in. It like I've kept up with it I try to clean it as best as possible and try to make sure that nothing builds up on it so you know I do take care of the appliance and everything else um yeah cuz I don't I don't want to destroy I want to make sure the stove stays as nice as possible how I received it and keep it clean because I wouldn't want someone to destroy my stuff in my household, if that makes sense.
Okay, so the reason why I resprayed the um the awesome on it is just to activate the the Ajax so it could get into it and clean as much as possible. I always tell you guys, you guys buy all these expensive products and buy products and then still end up doing most of the work instead of letting the product soak into whatever you're cleaning and it will be easier on you. With this now when I moved in, this stove had all this black stuff. So, little by little, I am trying my best to soak it off. And every time I find that I do this deep cleaning, a little bit more comes off. And it does get a little bit better. It's not... I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it back to, like, a, a good or brand new state. But I see the progress in it. And I do let it sit and soak for a little bit. So, yeah, let the products work. You bought them, you spent your money on them. Just put the product on the item and let it stay there for a little bit. And you will see that you're not scrubbing as hard as you should be. You're so different. Kind of ignorant You don't care what people say People say People say I'm going crazy For you baby Don't know how you're making me Feel this way What can I say That's what I like about you
Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober. Always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so clean behind your couch girl sis go look behind your couch sis go look behind your couch i'm telling you this i don't do this too often but with the new year i said i was going to get back here and try my best to make sure i got everything up from back here and spray it down and clean it as best as possible so that's what i did and i found food i found french fries i found candy i found juice empty juice i'm like what the heck is going on back here i'm like no i i was i was embarrassed and i was gonna cut this out but i was like no this is real life this is how my kids be having behind my couch like literally all the time. So I am going in. I'm trying to wipe the walls. I don't know if you can see the different tones with 
where the couch stop looks brand new and then above that you can see like it's a little darker so i'm just going in just to clean off all fingerprints all any kind of anything that was on there and just disinfect behind here because like i said i don't clean back here on a regular but i do want it to be as clean as possible especially with the new year coming in i want to make sure that you know i did get back here and i was able to just like start fresh Okay guys, so this, after I moved the Christmas tree, I put the toys back behind where I had the whole little desk set up. I realized my son does not like this area for a desk, so I am going to remove that second, the one right there, that shelf at the bottom that's what i'm removing now oh my god guys oh my god my hand was burning me i don't know how they screwed those screws in but one it wasn't even as stable but it was just to get the screws open it was it, it was a mess y'all it was a hot mess but i keep telling you guys i'm trying to go minimalist as much as possible so you'll see that every time I clean, I try to get rid of some toys because that is the one area that my kids control mostly. I try not to have them without their the toys that they do enjoy playing with because we live in a climate that does go from cold, spring, fall, you know, they're inside a lot, especially with this pandemic and there's no school. So I don't want to get rid of too many toys. But every time if I realize they're not playing with something when I'm cleaning, I do tend to downsize their toys a lot. So this is the final result after taking out that shelf. And up here, I am putting like the games and like the books that are not school related um our family games or a few toys that i have not allowed them to open yet 
But um, from Christmas, they haven't been able to open everything because I don't want them to open everything, break everything at one time, you know. So what I'm doing here, I'm just organizing their school stuff that was on the top shelf. I am going to move that. And I did organize that and set it up differently. So I will drop a video on that because I did record me doing it. I just didn't want to include that into this because... It was something separate. But, oh my God, this truck, guys. This truck is going to drive me crazy. I am so over it. And they just got it. I'm over this truck already, guys. Over it. That might be the next thing to go. So, yes. When I say I am trying my best to be minimalist. And the thing is, my kids don't understand very much what that means. But I'm I'm downsizing their toys and trying to get rid of things that I notice they're not using. Or anything that I know I haven't used. That means I don't need it if I'm not using it. So I'm trying my best to downsize as much as possible on both ends. In my ear. Words only meant for me to hear. Promise that your secret's safe with me You're the only reason, yes, you're the only reason Baby, you're the answer to my prayers Feeling like the world is in our hands Now I know that this is meant to be You're the only reason, yes, you're the only reason double-sided carpet tape just to um, stick down that little piece that's sticking up so I just don't want the kids to fall on it to run and hurt themselves so I try to keep all edges down and as I've stated previously I don't vacuum to I'm not vacuuming currently to get up dirt or anything it's all the um, glitter from the Christmas tree decorations so that's what I you see like I keep going over certain areas because I'm seeing the glitter and even if you wipe it still does not come up right away I do have majority of it up but I'm sure it's going to take me a little time to completely get rid of every single glitter that's in the house I am still loving this vacuum I don't know what else to say about the vacuum, but it's amazing. I'm going to fold out and get all the towels that I did wash the previous day. I made sure to wash all our towels, all the blankets, and all the sheets and stuff. Previously, most of the sheets are already on the bed or put up. But, yeah, so these are the new towels that we got for the new year. And I'm just going to fold them so when I go in the bathroom, I can easily put them where they belong. Along with the kids' new blankets that they received for Christmas.
have seen me clean my bathroom a million times so with this squeegee I'm just going in trying to um, force the water down I whenever I leave the shower I like to make sure like all the water is down before I am done because that's how you get mildew and all that stuff I don't like the water just settling and running down slowly so for this when cleaning this is my go-to you don't have to do this this is works for us and then um, I did downsize their bath toys also. That's why it's not as full. So yeah. Kinda late. I wish I could just call you up 
I'm alone in room 308 Yeah, are you awake? Wish I could call you I'm gonna call you You are the stranger in the corner on the set did want to pop in one last time and say thank you guys so much for helping me get monetized i got monetized in the span of what three to four months and i do want to say thank you guys so much for all the support i want to thank my family my extended family and a very very happy prosperous and blessed new year to everyone i hope 2021 is a better year for everyone and i hope everyone is able to start their goals this was one of my goals for a couple years i had it on my vision board for the past two years and this year with the pandemic i said Cassandra, God is telling you to just go ahead and do it. You might as well just do it. You are home. You have the time. So go ahead and just start your channel. And I did. And I might say it has helped a lot. Especially for who does not know. I have suffered from postpartum depression with both my kids. So this channel helped me to kind of like get out there, branch out, have some fun. And just take my mind off everyday life. And I am so blessed. I am like extremely blessed with amazing family. I am so grateful for my mom. Oh my God. Like that lady has been such an inspiration and so amazing on this journey. She will sit there and watch and play my videos over and over for me. And I am so grateful. And Thank you all for everyone that has prayed for me and my family when we had our little COVID scare. And I hope everyone have a safe, healthy, and amazing new year. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment below. And if you have any new year's resolution, if there's anything that last year was on your 
um, vision board or your resolution and you didn't accomplish and this year you plan to leave it down below let let's chat down in the comments I do read my comments guys I tell you guys all the time I'm all alone in my hotel room I'm getting drunk on booze from the mini bar I wonder what you're up to I shouldn't call you up I know your number by heart I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door Still I dream of you and say your name in my sleep Tell me isn't that crazy Just wanna call you up and tell you how I feel I see you wherever I go And you don't even know